good morning. I've been up for a little bit, but I've already had my coffee. And today I had some raspberry chocolate, like those Land Lakes packages of hot chocolate in my coffee. And a raspberry Quest bar. It was a very, very good breakfast. Um, just kind of slow getting going. It's 6.33 right now. And just going to get packed up and get to going. Looking forward to... Not sure how far we're going to go today. We kind of just looking at where the mountains are, where the passes are, how far we got to go. Um, there is a like a big campground at 16 miles from here. And it's like a big campground that like cars can come in. Um, it's Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. So it's either going to be really crowded or maybe there'll be people set up with like willing to share a hot dog and a beer. I don't know. Um, we'd like to stick with doing 20s, but um, that campsite's at the bottom of a big climb, like a 2,500-foot climb. So once we started that, we'd have to get up and over. I don't think there's any campsites listed on that. So we're kind of looking at like a 16 or way more than we want to do. So not really sure how that's going to pan out yet. Probably just going to play it by ear, see how the morning goes. And you'll find out when I find out. It is 7.06. I'm all packed up. Hammer's almost packed up, but I don't think he started his lathering process yet. So normally what he does, he gets all packed up. Like you think he's ready to walk. And then he just sits in the dirt and gets out this big jug of sunscreen and starts painting himself with it. And so he says that out here, he's been paying at least $17 a bottle for sunscreen, which is way more expensive than it would be at home. Was that Walmart brand when you bought the other day that much too? It was cheaper. Okay. Still, All right. So as we're getting, sitting here, um, Diesel and Red Lentil, who we haven't seen since the Hatchapi, apparently they were actually the ones camped right down here last night. We just didn't realize it was them. They came by. One of the things we do out here to pass the time and occupy our brains is we make up songs. Mostly we make up, use real songs and change the words to make them funnier or fit our situation. So my favorite line of the morning, since it's Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, is living my life on a long trail, rolling into a campground to that hot dog smell, ain't had a real meal in three damn days. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything else. That's, that's the only line I've gotten so far. <laughs> Look at this. This doesn't seem like a PCT thing at all. Here we get to get our water. A gushing stream. Beautiful. We're a few hundred feet into this 1800 foot climb. I've just come through this blow down and this one was a pain. I had to crawl on my hands and knees under there. And with the pack on your back, you gotta get real low to make sure it's, you can fit through there. But I'm by it and ready to resume. I've only got about 0.5 to where there is a spot, a camp spot listed on the map. Well, I will stop for lunch. I am sitting down on my tie back. I have my shoes off. Just sitting here. I got here a couple minutes ago. It's about 1230. I've done a little over 11 miles so far. Had a couple breaks. 
And now that I think it's all behind me, let me tell you about this morning. I had a little bit of a, 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 a situation. So I was walking along a mile or so out of camp. just wasn't feeling great. And at one point I had stopped to check my phone and I saw there were some people coming behind me, which is relevant in a minute. They were maybe a third of a mile or so I was guessing behind. I wasn't feeling great. I'm like, oh, I'll probably need some water. So I chugged a half liter of water. A little bit later, I'm like, still not right. Oh, I probably need electrolytes. So I put some concentrated electrolytes in there with you know, only half the water. Started drinking that, feeling a little better. It wasn't very much longer and I was like, had an emergency. I needed, needed to find a spot to go to the bathroom. And I was on a trail that was just cut into just a, a steep side hill. So there's no going up or down. Like I was at the point of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I was like, I can't be doing this on the trail. So I'm trying to like run through my mind. What are my options here? I was <coughs> at one point I was like, I may have to just go around the side of the trail and dig a hole. But then I knew these people were behind me. So I couldn't do that. Finally got to a spot that was up, but it was hikeable or climbable. So as soon as I got there, I took off up the hill. There was no time to dig holes for the first time ever. I just had to go on the ground, like on the surface of the ground. And then afterwards, I had to dig the hole. Then, then you know, I had to bury it and all that. So it was a little bit of a situation, but that's all behind me. I'm feeling fine after all that. And I've done another 10 miles or so, so maybe nine miles. So I'm going to make me a sandwich and eat some lunch. Hammer's back behind. I'm not sure how far, about a third of the way up that climb. He had cell service and I didn't. He stopped to check some messages. So I'm going to have a break for a while and just rest and eat. We had our lunch and we're walking again. We just started walking a few minutes ago. And Hammer tried the beans and rice that I've been eating. He had gotten some at the last town. He made them into like burritos. And... Um, I hope they don't do to him what they did to me this morning. But either way, he said they were really good. I had another one of my salami sandwiches and Frito honey barbecue. Man, it was good. Having like civilian food out here in the woods, it's hard to beat. We are only two miles from this campground and water. I walked with Red Lentil for about three miles just chatting about lots of nonsense. Okay, there's a trail magic sign here that I think is for now, but I'm not real sure. Hopefully it's for now. Just filled up all my water bottles to this stream. Hammer's not here, so I'm guessing maybe that Trail Magic sign is real and not an old one. So I'm gonna go see if I can't find that. And I got four liters of water because I don't know if we're staying in this campground and basically done for the day or if we're doing another four or five miles. So let me go find Hammer and see if what the Trail Magic situation is. And then we will go from there. I got to the road. And the sign says Campground Point 2, and there's a sign right here that says PCT Hiker Trail Magic Beer Soda. That's the only thing I saw. I think food and water, maybe, to Site 3. So unless Hammer ducked off trail and I passed him, my guess is he is up here. Okay, so we are staying here. We did 16 miles today. This is actually like a memorial, third annual memorial um, trail magic for someone named Strider. I don't know the story behind all that yet, but I'll find out. There are a lot of hikers here. I'm just in this little bitty vicinity that we're camped in. There's Hammer, me, Todd, and three other tents that I don't know who they are. And there's at least 10 other hikers over there. About 4.30 right now. Um, I've had one beer. They have lots of beers and other drinks. They're gonna cook uh, hamburgers at six, so about an hour and a half. So looking forward to just kind of hanging out and maybe chatting with some other hikers and having a nice relaxing time and celebrating Strider.
and I've seen looking for somebody lately who was the other beauty and then I seen this girl she was about 28 29 or something but she was covered in tattoos and she had a noise ring and she just had that look and thought pay for trash or potential pay for trash and All right, everybody, I'm gonna have to be quiet here and be quick. It's been a really good night. We had a couple cheeseburgers and hung out with a bunch of hikers. Um, the legendary Yogi that owns Triple Crown Outfitters and her employees were here. We had a really fun night and it's almost nine o'clock, so it's hiker midnight. So I'm gonna tell y'all good night and I'll see you in the morning.